Queen heartbroken as Bond with Archie Harrison and Lilibet at risk over distance. The Queen has been left heartbroken by the consequences of Megxit according to a royal expert, amid concerns about the physical distance between the monarch and her two great-grandchildren Archie and Lilibet. The Queen's bond with her great-grandchildren has been put at risk because of Megxit, according to a royal expert. The distance between the Queen and Prince Harry, who now resides in California, has left the monarch heartbroken. The lack of connection, fueled by the physical distance, between Archie and Lilibet and their great-grandmother was discussed in Channel 5's new documentary 2021, The Queen's Terrible Year. Her Majesty last saw Archie in the flesh two years ago in November 2019, according to Camilla Tomini, associate editor of the Daily Telegraph. The Queen has yet to even see Lilibet Diana in person, even though she is named after the Queen's own childhood nickname. Ms. Tomini discussed the February 2021 announcement that Meghan and Harry were expecting a second child. She said, I'm sure the Queen was absolutely delighted to hear the news that the Sussexes were expecting a second child. The associate editor continued, but it is difficult for the Queen. She has not been able to see Archie. I think the last time she was able to see Archie in the flesh of November 2019. The only way the Queen will be able to see these children is if they come over to the UK. Maybe she will see them next year when she marks her Platinum Jubilee. We have to wait and see. The documentary examines the events of the tumultuous year, comparing 2021 to 1992 which the Queen famously described as Annus Horribilis. In 1992, a series of unpleasant events rocked the royal family including the separations of Prince Charles and Diana, and Prince Andrew and Sarah, as well as the Windsor Castle fire. 2021 has seen a series of family fallouts, scandals and the death of the Queen's husband, the late Duke of Edinburgh. It had been initially hoped that Harry and Meghan would have brought their two children to see the Queen at Christmas. However, according to recent reports, these hopes have been dashed and the pair will not be flying over from California. According to Page Six, the Sussexes turned down the Queen's invitation in the hopes of avoiding a media frenzy. Instead, the pair will celebrate at home in Montecito with their two children, two-year-old Archie, and five-month-old Lilibet. The last time the Sussexes celebrated Christmas at Sandringham was in 2018. It is thought that Harry and Meghan will try to travel to the UK next year as part of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee when Her Majesty marks 70 years of service. month-old Lilibet. The last time the Sussexes celebrated Christmas at Sandringham was in 2018. It is thought that Harry and Meghan will try to travel to the UK next year as part of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee when Her Majesty marks 70 years of service.